First off, I'm a very emotional person, in case you don't know me. So if I break out into tears today, it's okay. It's just because we're all here. <laughs> Thank you. So, welcome back to the Berkeley County Youth Fair 2021. I missed you guys so much last year, and I'm so glad to see all your smiling faces. When we were doing check-in, and all my littles were checking in, and they're not so little anymore. But I'm glad to see you guys. All right, if you are an intermediate or junior showman, you guys can hang out up here on the bleachers and you're gonna get to watch everything. If you are a senior showman, head to the back. We're gonna start the show today with our previous winners. So if I can have the previous winners come to the front. All right, until I get my microphone, as my previous winners are coming up, can I have your attention please? 2021 Rabbit Judge for this year, Miss Brianna Hicks. <laughs> Brianna is a member of the Blue Ridge Rabbit and Cabbie Club. She's been raising rabbits since 1999, and she's had multiple national rabbit. Can, she's been, I'm sorry, to multiple national rabbit conventions in several states. She's competed in youth judging and showmanship competitions from 2000 to 2005. She also teaches rabbit showmanship to anyone that is wanting to learn. And she currently raises Himalayans and Californians. So thank you very much for coming to us today. All right, so we are starting our show today with the previous winners class. I have coming up to the table Exhibitor number 65, this is Ashton Lazarick. Hi, I'm Ashton. This is my rabbit. Her name's Caius. She was born in 2017, and she was my first ever breeding, actually. She's my really my first babies. So, so do my spiel? Yes. <laughs> All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check her eyes. Um, left eye first. Also, I would just like to point out she does not have a tattoo. She's not certified. Um, but she, I'm going to check her eyes first. She, I'm looking for any cloudiness, discoloration, any scratches in the eye. Cloudiness, discoloration could be blindness, um, things like cataracts, things like that. She doesn't have any of that, so we're all good. I'm checking her ears for any ear mites, any infections. Ear mites can lead to deafness, so we don't want any of that. They can be brown, white, anything like that, and I don't think she has any today. Turn her over to her right side. And now I'm checking her right eye for any cloudiness, discoloration, scratches, which could be to blindness, cataracts. She has none. I'm going to check her ears again. Um, this is her number tattoo for the fair. And I am not seeing any ear mites or infection. And now I'm going to flip her. I got my and now I'm going to check her nose. Um, runny noses could be due to cold snuffles, and snuffles is often deadly to rabbits, so we want to check for that. Um, and I don't see any runniness today. My rabbit does have one fault. She has a white nose. Her father had a rude gene that we didn't know about. Here it is. It showed up. <laughs> now I'm going to check her teeth. Um, I'm checking the teeth for any signs of over overgrowth, and that could also be due to malocclusion. Um, it's a disease in rabbits where their teeth overgrow, oftentimes can grow into their nose. A lot of times it's deadly, it's hard to keep up with. So I'm also going to check her dewlap since she is a female. Dewlaps can get hay debris, cuts from hay, um, things like that. They can also get fatty tumors in their dewlaps, so we'd like to check for that. She doesn't have anything there. Checking underneath as well. All good. I'm going to check her belly for any lumps or bumps, which could be any tumors. I'm also checking to make sure she does have her six teats. She does. Um, and yep, tumors could be cancer. They could be fatty tumors, which are just not good for the animal. Um, she has none. I'm gonna check her legs now for any broken bones. Check her paw pads. She has no cuts. And I'm also checking her nails to make sure none are broken and they're all the same color. Um, her father, like I said, had the rugine. He did have two white no nails. So she, all hers are the same color, unfortunately. Checking her leg again for any broken bones. Checking her paw pads. No cuts or sores. And toenails are all intact and unbroken in the same color. Okay. And now I'm going to check her back leg again for broken bones. 
she has none. And I'm checking her back hawks for any sore hawks, which is when their cage or something like that will rub their feet and break them open. Um, she has none, and I'm also checking her paw pads again for any sores or cuts. She has none, and she has all her toenails. They're all intact, and they're all the same color. Checking this leg for the same thing, any broken bones. No, they're okay. She has none. I'm checking her feet again for sore hawks, and there's none on this foot. No rubbed pads or any cuts, and she has all of her toenails, and they're all intact and all the same color. Now I'm going to check her gender. And in doing this, I'm also checking for any vent infections or anything like that down there. And she is all good, and she is a female. And now I'm going to pull on her tail just to make sure it's not broken. And she is all good. And my Rex, my Rex, my rabbit is a mini Rex. <laughs> so she has Rex fur. Um, and her coat is a nice density and a nice color for her, so. That's my rabbit. <laughs> um, I have one question. You mentioned malnutrition. Mm -hmm. What is the correct bite for a rabbit? You want their um, under teeth to be um, behind their front, um, but you don't want them too far behind because then they're growing to their gums. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Next up to the table, we have our second previous winner, Exhibitor 403. This is Sierra Berry. I didn't mention earlier, Ashton was part of the Hedgesville Pet Ambassador for um, Jacket. Those, that's her official FFA dress. And this is Sierra. She's Tomahawk 4-H Club, and she's in the 4-H official dress. Yep, whenever you're ready. Okay, so today I'm presenting my mini Rex. Um, so to start off with the basic things that I can already see, he's obviously in a mold, which is very fun. Um, he also, uh, I'm assuming, my best guess is the well water down here caused him to have a small amount of diarrhea this morning and got on his coat, which, you know, compromised his coat quality. Um, to look at his eyes, now out of the left eye, there is slight discharge. It's not goopy, it's just a little bit of has allergies and he had his eye drops so it helps with that but it's just genetic sometimes and he's an indoor rabbit that I brought outside so it causes that to occur. His right eye looks healthy and fine, completely dry. Um, so his eyes overall they're the same color. I'm not seeing any cloudiness present. I'm not seeing any goopy discharge. I'm seeing slight watering out the left. So overall it's an okay situation because I understand that his allergies are um, to move on to his ears, I'm going to look for the outsides right now. I'm going to check and see if he's missing any chunks of skin, um, any missing patches of fur in between if he's missing fur to make sure that, you know, he's healthy, hasn't cut himself, nothing has occurred there. Um, to look at the inside of the ear, for the left ear, when I look inside, um, I'm looking to see it's going to look like a small brown chunk of almost dirt. Um, it's going to be light color or dark color. Um, that's, that could be presentation of ear mites in the rabbit. Um, and the left ear looks very healthy and clean. And for his right ear, there's a slight black line at the top of his ear where his tattoo once was that I need to redo. But um, other than that, to look down in, uh, they are clean and healthy. No presentation of ear mites or any kind of discharge. Um, so his eyes and ears look healthy. So when I flip him over, First, I'm going to check his nose, so we're going to look for any drainage, discharge, anything that could be out of the ordinary, make sure he has no cuts. Um, his nose looks very healthy, he has no presentation of snuffles or any kind of discharge, it could be any other like, disease. Um, when I look at his teeth, it's okay. So when I look at his teeth, I'm going to check the top and the bottom. What I'm looking for is potential malocclusion. I'm looking for any broken or chipped teeth, um, as well as, you know, a rabbit eating and drinking water is the most important thing they need to survive. So anything wrong with their mouth could lead to lack of that, and that would be very bad for the rabbit. Um, now, I see slight presentation under his chin. Now, that could rather be due to his molt, or he is in a different cage than normal down here. I have an open bottom um, pen, essentially. So from him being on wire down here, I believe that he might, it's not a bleeding cut, but it is definitely one I have to keep my eyes on. Um, to look at his front claws, he has his left claw and his right claw. Check 
checking for straightness of the arms. Very good. All the joints seem to be working well. And to check, he has all four toenails. And his toe pads are starting to show through slightly, but nothing I would find concerning. Hey, hey, Bob. Hey. His dew claws, present and healthy. Nails are clipped, trimmed, look healthy. And now I'm going to feel his chest, which is the area of their 24 ribs, which protect their heart and lungs, so that keeps them safe in the event of, you know, rabbits and natural and outdoor animals, so any kind of running, um, jumping, that prevents any harm coming to those. And all of his ribs feel good. Then I'm going to feel in his chest, because if they have any kind of bug present on them, for my sleeve, um, even ticks, they like to get in the chest because that's the lungs area of the rabbits, so they like to live there. So I checked that, that looks very good. His fur, nice and dense there. Um, feeling down his flanks for any kind of absences, tears, lesions, any of that. Um, feeling his stomach, because grubs are another type of ground bug that rabbits often get. Um, and I'm feeling no problem there. Um, color markings look good. He has that beautiful broken pattern symmetrically. And his back leg is straight. Other leg. Other leg, nice and straight, and all four toenails on each toe. Now what I am seeing is on the back, she's starting to present a little bit of sore hocks. Now, the Rex fur is very common to get these sore hocks because it's so thin and it's that really velveteen um, quality. So when they are put in a wire cage, as it has been for the past couple of days down here, it results in that wearing away and becoming more prone. They are not open. Um, it just looks as if it would be something to keep that on be a little bit concerned about. Um, maybe do some preventative measures. Best way to prevent, prevent disease is to stop it before it starts. Um, when I move on to his genitalia, he is, he is male. The sex and he is male. Um, I'm checking his penis to see if it's split. I see no split penis present. Um, checking the testicles, he has two present. Making sure they're not impacted or missing one or one is just completely not present. I'm going to check his tail. The wire screw tail, which can occur in rabbits, it's when you can, as well as I felt for the straightness, because you can feel the bones to make sure you can have like a long his tail, um, and everything presented well there. Um, one last thing I like to check after I flip him over and close him one time, is I like to look at his neck to make sure he hasn't presented with any rye yet, because that's very common um, in rabbits, because their ears are so important because regulating their temperature, helping them hear what predators could be around when you check for that raw neck because it is important to make sure they don't have any presentation of it because it's a sign of an ear infection which could lead to several other health problems. Um, overall I would say that he is a quite healthy rabbit um, and that he presents well today for quality of show um, in terms of the faults in his qualification. Faults present um, are not. Um, so if you, it's going to sound kind of weird, but if you blow into their fur, like, and you can, because Rexes have that fur, if you try and push it apart, you just can't see. But if you blow it apart and you look down at their skin, um, it could be a little, they look as if unless you put pepper on your rabbit. Or that's like active alive ones, as well as fleas as well also create dander, which is where your rabbit's bites and the living present on the rabbit's skin will cause the rabbit's skin to actually dry. Um, so it causes what's called dander, and it looks like it's like little white powder. Um, it's very thin and flaky, almost like human dandruff, um, present in the under of the Any other questions for me today? Thank you. All right, I'd like to call our two previous winners back up to the table, Ms. Ashton and Ms. Sierra. <laughs> All right, so I would like to say that these girls did very well. I hope you can hear. I know it's really loud down here um, with all the, the roosters crowing and, and whatnot. Um, but I'd like to thank these two um, for coming back and doing this again. Um, being the previous winners means that they won showmanship for the senior division, and that bumps them up, so it's something to strive for. I would like to congratulate Miss Ashton Lazarus on her previous winner's 2021 
showmanship again. Thank you very much, Terry. You did a great job. All right. Madison, if you want to step over, and we're going to take just a quick picture right there at that table. Now we're going to start with our senior showmanship uh, exhibitors. We're going to bring up to the table exhibitor 255. This is Miss Brooke Gaynor from the Tesora Indian Sports Club. She's a Polish breed. We can just go ahead and start. Okay. So first, I'm going to start off with the colors to make sure that there's no um, discoloration or anything. Make sure she's not blonde. Then I'm going to check with her ears um, to make sure she doesn't have any ear mites. And I'm going to check the other eye. Make sure no discoloration or anything. She's good in both of them. And check the ear again to make sure there's no ear mites in them. Both good. Then I'm going to flip her over. I'm going to check her nose to make sure she doesn't have any discharge, which could be sniffles. Then I'm going to check her teeth to make sure they're not overgrown or anything, which both are good. Then I'm going to check her two front uh, feet to make sure she doesn't have um, any like, missing toes or broken um, toenails or anything. Then I'm going to check her stomach, just fill it a little bit, make sure there's no ulcers or overgrowth. Then I'm going to check her back hocks, make sure um, it's okay. Make sure she doesn't have um, sore hocks, which she did a few years ago. Um, and it's still like healing a little bit. Um, and make sure that she doesn't have um, any broken like toenails or um, broken missing toenails. Then I'm gonna check the sex of her, but she is a female. And then I'm gonna check her tail to make sure it's not crooked or screw tail. Then I'm gonna this back, check her fur, make sure she doesn't have any lice and no missing patches. And then I'm gonna check her spine to make sure it's straight and not crooked. You mentioned discoloration. What is what would discoloration be? Like where in the fur in the, in the eye. Um, if it was discolored, it would be like blindness um, forming in her eyes. Um, if it was discolored. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like to thank some of the Rabbit Show Award sponsors: Max and Hope Cambry, Farmers and Mechanics Insurance Company. Misty Meadows Farm, the Great Foster Family, United Bank, W. Randy Smith, Jefferson Rentals, and Joe and Bitteri. All right, next up to the table, we are bringing exhibitor 227, Miss Adriana Dunbar. Let's go ahead and start with me. Okay, so this is Luna. She's a six year old Netherland dwarf, and then I'm going to start by checking her left ear. I'm going to check for any sign of an ear tattoo, any sores, any sort of ooze or ear mites, which can be black, red, or white. She doesn't have any of that. And then I'm going to move on by checking her left eye for any signs of blindness, cloudiness, any sort of discharge, any sign of allergies, which she does not have. Now I'm going to flip her to her right side. Again, I'm going to be checking her right ear for any sores, any sort of ooze, any ear mites, which again, she has none. And then I'm going to check her right eye for any discoloration, blindness, cloudiness, or any sign of discharge, which she does not have. So now I'm going to be flipping her over. All right, I'm going to be checking her nose for any runniness or discharge, which could be a sign of snuffles, which is basically a rabbit hole. She doesn't have that. And next, I'm going to be checking her teeth for any broken teeth, any missing teeth, or any sign of malclusion, which she does not have any of that. Now I'm going to be checking her stomach. I'm going to feel for any sores, any sign of a tumor, any abscesses, which she doesn't have. Next, I'm going to be checking her legs. I'm going to extend it to make sure her legs are straight and they're not broken, which they're not. And then I'm going to check her feet. I'm going to check her nails to see if they're all the same color, any broken nails, any missing nails, which she does not have, any broken or missing ones. And now I'm going to check her back leg. I'm going to extend it to see if it's straight or broken. And it's, it's not broken, she's good. And now I'm going to be checking her back nails to see if they're the same color, if 
they're broken or missing. And I'm also going to be checking her hocks for any sign of sore hocks, which she doesn't have. I'm now going to be checking her other leg to make sure it's not broken. I know. She's a little fussy this morning. And I'm going to be checking her foot. I'm gonna to check to make sure her toes are good. I'm gonna check for her nails, make sure they're not broken or missing and that they're all the same color, which they are. And now I'm going to be checking her back leg for straightness, which it is not broken. And then I'm going to be checking her feet to make sure all of her nails are there and to make sure they're not discolored or broken. And I'm also going to be checking her hocks for sore hocks, which she doesn't have. Now I'm going to check her genitals. She is a female and I'm going to be checking for any sores, any discharge, any sign of disease, which she doesn't have. And I'm going to be checking her tail to make sure it's not broken. It's She's good. And now I'm going to flip her back over. And then I'm going to be checking her fur. She is a Netherlands, so she does have rollback fur. And her fur is all the same color. She's a blue rabbit. And she's good. Thank you. Color for a blue rabbit, what is the correct color of toenails? So, white toenails. Perfect. I'm gonna stick with white. Okay. It's fine. Fine with that. Yes, okay. Let's stick with that. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you. A couple more rabbits. Sure. 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 Keith and Dawn Pingley and family, DC Farms, Dan and Debbie Collis and family, Rick Swelling, Rick and Gwen Kathleen and family. We couldn't do this without our sponsors, so we thank them. If you attend or go to any of these businesses or know these people, make sure you get to thank them for sponsoring events here at the Berkeley County Fair. All right, and next up to the table, I have exhibitor 297, Miss Emily Orndolph. This is my one-year-old um, crossbred mini Rex on La Pina. He's a year old. Um, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to check his ears for ear mites, and I'm going to check his eyes for any uh, runningness. I'm going to check his nose for any runniness or cold. I'm also going to check his teeth for any um, chipping or overbite. I'm going to check his um, paws for any And I also want to check uh, his body for any tumors, any bumps. And then I'm also going to check his gender. for any ear mites or discoloration. And then I'll flip them over. I'm gonna check his nose for any discoloration. I 
also check his paws because if he has um, snuffles, there could be like discoloration from wiping his nose. Then his teeth for any mouth fusion. Okay. On each of the teeth. I'm gonna check his front paws, make sure that all his nails are good. abnormalities or any lumps. I'm check his cox. He does have some missing patches on the back of his cox. I'm going to check his six. And then check his tail to make sure it's not broken. And check his fur. Mr. Nicholas Guzman, oh, yeah. representing Musselman, FFA. 
Check your nose for any uh, sniffles or anything. And just any kind of wetness. Check your feet, make sure that there's no broken toes. Make sure the claws or uh, nails are nice and trim and everything. And it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna check her teeth to make sure that they're they're nice and straight. There's no crookedness. I'm gonna check her eyes for any cloudiness. Make sure that she's all fine there. Check your back feet. The same thing as the front feet. Make sure there's no broken toes or anything. Check her fur. Make sure there's no bugs or anything. Feet are a little stained, but she's nice and clean. I just cleaned her off. And then you're going to want to sex her. She is a female. Then you're going to want to check your tail. Make sure everything's fine. Make sure your tail. Your tailbone isn't broken or anything. Flip her back over. Put her back. Check her back. Check for any bugs. She's good. And then put her right back where she's supposed to go. Uh, any kind of mites or just anything that she would get from um, uncleanliness or other bunnies or stuff like that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Miss Ashley Orndahl. She's representing the Blue Ridge Helping Hands 4-H Club. Hello. Good, how are you? I'm good. So first we're going to check your eyes. Then I'm going to check his ears for your lungs. Check 
his teeth. I'm going to check his teeth to make sure that they're not overgrown. Yeah. 
density and make sure it's in good density condition. Which it is in good condition. Other than I know she's multi, but I've been trying to brush her and make her better for show every day. It's just a little hard when they melt like that. Thank you. Um, what brand is your mini rice. She's a mini rice. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good day. All right, and our next intermediate show into the table is exhibitor number 201, Mr. Brian Barrett, from the New Seeker 4-H Club. Oh. Hello. All right. This is Blue. Um, she's, she was born in on November, mm, September 13th, 2019. Um, so I'm going to start by checking her ears for any dirt or ear mites, which would make them, it kind of bothers them and they don't act as they normally should. Um, I'm check her eyes for any or any, any dirt in her eyes that would be the blindness. And I'll check the nose for, I'll put the first. I'll check the nose for any um, dirt or any runniness because that could lead to snuffles, which is a really bad disease. And, uh, most likely will kill her, which is not good. I'll check her teeth for overbite or underbite. And I always have a like a wood block or something for her to chew on so that doesn't happen. I'll check her legs so that they're not broken. And she does have she has a little bit of sore box, but I she just doesn't she just refuses to walk on the tile. Because I have a tile and a wood block I don't know why, but she just refuses to walk on them. And I'll check her stomach for any lumps or any things that, things that shouldn't be there. Um, she's had, well, check her legs, any, see if they're broken, which they are not. I'll check her gender, and she is a girl. And she's had um, three litters. Her first litter, she had three. She had four. So, and none of them died. So, I'll check her tail to see if it's broken, which it is not. Put her back over. And her coat is um, fine, there's no lumps in it. Brown, yeah, like a brownish color. Toenail. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tammy Ware and family. Susan and Frank Berner. Nicholas Abre, Equitable Advisors. Smith Main Bush Insurance. The Colleen Miller family. And Hilltop Thank you guys very much for sponsoring. And our next exhibitor to the table is exhibitor 449, Ms. Sierra Fultz, representing the Blue Ridge Helping Hands 4-H Club. Hello, my name is Sierra Fultz. First, I'm taking her left eye, so I'm going to take her and then in her right ear, I'm checking for cataracts and cloudy eyes, but she has one. Thank you. 
sponsorship when we had the previous winner's class earlier. The silver bowl that was presented to the previous winner, um, Ashton Lazarus, was uh, sponsored by the Schultz Family Farm. The senior division grand champion um, is they will receive a $35 sponsorship from Farmers and Mechanics Insurance Company as well as $15 from Golden Rule Farm, Tammy, Ware, and Family and a uh, gift and we handed them a, a Peter and a water bottle and that was sponsored by Hidden Springs Farm. Second place receives $10 sponsored by Golden Rule, Fam Golden Rule Farm, Tammy Ware and Family, and the gift sponsored by Stephen Will Brown. And the third place receives uh, $5 from Golden Rule Farm, Tammy uh, Ware and Family. Our next exhibitor to the table is exhibitor 121, Miss Grace Dunham, representing Back Creek Valley Mountaineer Sportage Club. My name is Grace Dunham, and I'm This eye for any cloudiness and the next one. ear for any Going to check this eye for any cloudiness. This ear for any overbites. I'm checking her nose. I'm going to check her teeth for any overbites.
1934 Holden Custer from Southern Cross 4-H Club. My name's Holden Custer and this is my, my, my teacher. He was born February 1924. First, I'm going to check his left ear for mites or tattoos. He has a very faint tattoo. And it appears he has no mites. And now I'm going to check his left eye. And it appears that he has nothing wrong with it. And he seems perfectly healthy. Now I'm going to go check the right ear. So he just wants to go The right ear is the tattoo. And there appears to be no mites or anything. And I'm checking his right ear or right here. Appears that his eyes are perfectly healthy, healthy, and there's nothing else. First, I'm gonna check the teeth to make sure they are the proper size and not long and not crisscrossed because that will cause health issues and cause them not to be able to eat and to possibly damage their mouth and the teeth will not be able to grow back in the break. So they will be able to grow back when they take a little bit of time and it will not be easy to eat. And his teeth appear to be the proper size and not chipped or broken. Now I'm going to check his left knee to make sure all his nails are the proper size and nothing is broken. All the nails seem to be the right size, not broken and the same color. His front right one is the same, nothing wrong with it, all nails are the same color. And I'm going to go check the back feet for the same thing. The nails all seem to be the same color, nothing is that back left foot and the back right foot they seem to be the same color now I'm gonna check gender to make sure, make sure he is a male and it appears that he is a Take your rabbit from their cage until you're called on deck. But Junior, <laughs> <laughs> just roll up for a second. All right, and next to the table, I have Exhibitor 152, Miss Carissa Greenfield, representing the Watonka Forage Club. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
able to, I'm requesting senior showmen to head to the back to help the juniors. So if there's any senior showmen that are still out here, if you could head to the back and help the juniors, that would be wonderful. And next up to the table, I have Intermediate Showman Exhibitor 360, Mr. Luke McGowan, representing Tomahawk Forage Club.
place intermediate showman.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Just a reminder to the exhibitors, as you get your ribbons, when you hang them back there, if you hang them on your cage, you risk them getting chewed up. So keep that in mind. Here we go. Our next exhibitor is number 175, Miss Mackenzie Vaughn, representing Sulphur Springs 4-H Club.
from Mount Airy Winners 4-H Club.
talk, he holds his hand and then type, okay? He can move his head and he's easy to do for him.
watch your step down. Step down that. first, and then. Yep. Then. Junior Showmanship Exhibitor 328, Jacob McGowan, representing Tomahawk 4-H Club. Do you want to stool, Jacob? Or are you okay?
membership class, we have Exhibitor 170, Liam Custer, representing Southern Cross 4-H Club.
Carrie and Dorothy Snow, $15 from KH Construction, and a gift from Hidden Springs Farm. Second place will receive $10 from KH Construction, and a gift from Will and Snow Browning. Third place will receive $5 uh, from KH Construction. Can we have a huge round of applause for them? first time they've been to the show table, right? Last year, you guys know we had a virtual show, so it was a little bit different. And most of these, they're my littles. And I just love them. I can do it. I love these seniors, but the littles, mm -hmm, it's all right. Yeah. Seniors, if you are still on deck, we did not get a group picture of you, and I want to have one. If we could gather the seniors around eventually, I want to get a, before everybody leaves, I want to get a group shot. All right, juniors, you've waited long enough. Are you ready? You're not ready? You are ready. You are ready. How ready are you? Can I have another round of applause for this group of seniors? And I'm extremely proud of the ones who were hesitant about doing showmanship all together and told me, uh-uh, I don't want to. But look at them now. All right, here we go. Third place, I have Miss Madeline Nestor with the score. In second place, our reserve champion is Gabriel Delgado. And our grand champion, junior showman, Congratulations. These are the kids. They, they told me they didn't want to do this. They couldn't do it. They didn't know how to do it. You'll keep doing it, won't you? Yeah? All right. Congratulations, guys. 